Do you want to live in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, or around the Bay of Banderas? Here's one of the best ways to find affordable accommodation in almost any popular retirement destination. But first, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Sandy Ingram, the publisher of the Budget Retirement Options channel. I lived in Puerto Vallarta for five years before starting my global slow travel adventure. I am now in Brazil after spending a month in Bogota, Colombia. Needless to say, I am camera shy. First, you rent an Airbnb for 30 days in the price range you are looking for, maybe slightly higher. Most of the affordable rentals you see on your screen are fully booked for January through April. Some are even booked in late November and all of December by expats who intend to spend the holidays in Mexico. When you visit PV to find affordable housing, you may want to visit during the off season. Arrange time to look for rentals in the area you want to live in. Pay close attention to rundown properties that may need a little love and care. Once you call the property owner and find out the monthly rent, make an appointment to see the property. Using and paying a translator is best if you do not speak fluent Spanish. Or even if you do, show little to no emotions when you view the property. Explain to the property owner that you want to stay long-term and that you will pay three to six months rent in advance. Have a Mexican notary draw up the rental agreement. Be sure you understand what you sign and be sure to have it in writing that you can have guests for up to 30 days or even longer. That way you can read my book, Rent a Room Income and save enough money to purchase your own apartment or just to live rent free. Let them know that you will need to bring the property up to a higher standard and mention the upgrades you are willing to make. Get the monthly rate down as low as you can. Try to get the owner to include the utilities in the rent. This will cost you extra each month, but it will eliminate having to deal with the utility company who will only view you as a cash cow. Remember, you cannot take the upgrades when leaving the property. Don't go overboard on the upgrades. Paint and fix. Add to the interior using removable interior decor. This is how expats throughout Mexico get great rentals. They have a name for it. It's called building out. Oftentimes, owners do not have the cash flow to keep up their property. Therefore, as the years pass, the property becomes more and more run down. This means plumbing and electrical upgrades may be needed. When you need to pay for these types of improvements, ask for a decrease in the rent. Savvy expats take advantage of this common occurrence to save on rent and to design living spaces to their liking. <laughs> 